Hello there, my fellow green-skinned tinkerers, and welcome to another episode of my overall Orcs and Friends lore series. Today's video is going to be a first of a sorts, meaning that after talking quite a while about greenskins in general, I am gonna go into some detail on a specific cast from their society. And these equally inventive and funny fellows are the Orc Mechs or Mech Boys. I am your usual host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn who these guys are and what they do, shall we? A Mech Boy, also known as a Mechaniac, or more often simply as a Mech, also referred to as a Boiler Boy in Feral Orc Tribes, is a type of orc oddboy who builds all the weapons, vehicles, and other advanced technology used by the greenskins. Mech boys are especially important to orc speed freaks, as they maintain the prodigious amount of bikes and vehicles used by orc warbands. Orc mechs go to war festooned in clanking, smoke belching contraptions of their own design. These eccentric inventions confound friend and foe alike, as their purpose often remains a mystery, until the big red button gets pushed. When triggered, a mech's latest invention might fire blasts of energy which emulates waves of the enemy, or project wobbling bubbles of gravitic force to protect nearby boys from harm. On the other hand, it might belch showers of sparks before engulfing its operator and everyone around them in a ball of flame. Yet occasional malfunctions are forgiven by the orcs, for even when a mech boy's temperamental new gadget does decide to explode, at least it gives them something to laugh about. Without mech boys, orcs would lack for light, power, transport, and even guns. Whenever an orc needs something built, be it a shiny new shooter or the warboss's new ride, they go straight to the mech boys. Furthermore, an orc with teeth to spare will take existing kit to a nearby mech in the hope of having something repaired, or maybe some customizing done. It is a rare day when that customer actually gets what he asked for, but whatever the mech turns out will normally be very flashy all the time. Especially talented or popular mech boys will soon attract a following, lording it over a growing gang of underlings. A mech with this much influence is referred to as a big mech, and can prove indispensable to the local war boss with his knowledge of shock attack guns, force field technology, and teleporta rigs. Yet war bosses don't willingly suffer rivals. If a big mech gets too big for his boots, he will soon find himself at the business end of a very large gun, probably the one he built for the war boss a couple of weeks earlier. In such circumstances, most big mechs will choose exile. Such freebooter big mechs either end up hiring out their skills to a new tribe, or else building their own warband replete with clanking, roaring walkers, seething mobs of lutas and burna boys, and ramshackle masses of battle wagons and artillery. A big mech's mastery of technology is unsurpassed among the orcoid race and the Big Mac is often seen as generating a custom force field around himself which protects his person and his creations. A Big Mac who becomes the leader of a greenskin war will often be known as a mech boss. Orcs grasp the rudiments of their technology at an instinctual level. How exactly this works remains largely a mystery, although some studies performed by Imperial Magi biologists suggest that this may be the result of the latent psychic potential possessed by all greenskins. Whatever the case may be, whether orcs understand technology due to psychic powers, from hard-coded genetic memory, or simply by rote or inclination, every orc in the galaxy can design, build, and maintain the basic weapons and vehicles used by their race. This general basic mechanical aptitude possessed by the greenskins means that each boy in a mob can easily build and maintain their own weapons, armor, and assorted war gear, without having to rely on any kind of supply infrastructure. In turn, this mobility and adaptability makes them an incredibly adaptable and frightfully efficient enemy. 
While all orcs can turn a spanner or swing a hammer to some degree, there is the group of mechanically inclined greenskins called mechboys. These orcs show more than the basic understanding of building and jury rigging. Also colloquially known as mechaniacs or simply mechs, they are blessed with a greater ability to modify machinery than other orcs, and a willingness to put these skills to use regardless of personal risk. Strange amalgams of engineers and mad scientists, mechboys are the jovially imprecise craftsmen responsible for producing the bulk of orcish war gear. They enjoy a privileged place in orcish society, thanks to this unique talent, and along with other odd boys, like pain boys and weird boys, make up an important part of any war boss's retinue. Along with their mechanical and engineering prowess, mech boys also have a knack for assessing the nature, use, and value of a given piece of scrap or hardware at a single glance. Thanks to their keen eye for and discerning tastes in the industrial and mechanical detritus of the galaxy, they excel at using salvaged and recycled materials to create the most improbable weapons for their tribe. As it is among orc society at large, within the disparate ranks of mech boys, the bigger a mech is, the more powerful he is. While it is difficult to categorize any part of chaotic orcish society, there are a few general divisions among mech boys, determined by size, cunning, and the amount of custom bits and mechanical ephemera they possess. The most common, and therefore least potent among them, are the mech boys. These are the mechs who work by themselves or in small groups assisted by Gretchen, who operate in support of smaller orc formations like mobs and warbands. As mech boys grow in size and experience, many become big mechs. Big mechs command squads of lower ranked mech boys and countless Gretchen in battle, and devise the more potent kinds of war gear fielded by orcs, such as mega armor and custom blasters. Some of these big mechs become so powerful that they command entire warbands of orc tribes, and they have thousands of boys at their command. Clans ran by big mechs are more technologically oriented, and tend to have a higher than normal concentration of custom gear and combi weapons among their ranks. They also have more cyborgs and advanced war machines like death dreads, mega dreads, stompas, and even the highly volatile and destructive Gargans. The tools of the mech's trade, his massive spanners, rivet guns, welders, cutting torches, hammers and the like, are crude and handmade. Each one fits the calloused hand of their owner, and withstands his constant use and abuse. In their motor pools, workshops and foundries, mechs gleefully toil away in a cloud of cigar smoke, oily mist, exhaust fumes, and fine metal dust, attended by a small army of Gretchen assistants, tasked with fetching tools, holding parts, and applying lubricants and adhesives. In these clamorous and noisome environments, mech boys and their assistants churn out countless shooters, sluggers, stick bombs, bits of armor, and other war gear required to feed the ravenous orc war machine. Mech boys also constantly tinker and customize their war gear, and that of other orcs, to improve its performance. Mech boys also create custom weapons and vehicles for war bosses, knobs, and any boy with enough teeth to pay for their services. Some mech boys even exhibit a strong inclination towards invention, and from these demented minds have sprung some of the most terrifying and dangerous war machines that the galaxy has ever seen. Orc technology captured in battle and examined by the Adeptus Mechanicus defies all description and classification. Guided by each individual mech boy's particular, for lack of a better term, design vision, no two pieces of orc equipment are alike. They show no sign of standardization or mass production, and vary so widely in their construction, design and makeup as to make each piece of equipment essentially unique. The only commonality among orc technology is that, as far as any learned imperial can determine, every shooter, truck, lava, and suit of mega armor 
seems to be nothing more than a random collection of parts and metal plates bashed together in a random fashion that should simply not function. Somehow, the orcs ramshackle vehicles run, their terrifying crude flyers stay in the air despite lacking any kind of aerodynamic quality. Their weapons continue to fire chattering bursts of slugs, or to disgorge gouts of flame, plasma, or other type of energy, despite being seemingly nothing more than collections of flammable junk. For this to work, however, a mechboy must have an idea of what it is he wants to build. He cannot simply build a basic item that resembles a firearm, and then dictate what kind of ammunition it fires. If, for example, a mechboy wants to build a plasma pistol, he begins to construct what he imagines is a plasma pistol. Sometime during this process, it occasionally begins to function as such. Orcs also hold numerous related and seemingly bizarre beliefs regarding the importance of color and how it affects their war gear. Perhaps the most well-known is the widespread belief, especially among evil sons and members of the Cult of Speed, that red ones go faster. The fact that this actually seems to have any bearing on reality continues to befuddle the Adeptus Mechanicus. The beliefs and superstitions of the orcs, and the gestalt psychic phenomena that accompanies them, added to each orc's ability to carry out basic construction and maintenance of their war gear, is one of the factors that makes the greenskins so potent and successful as a race, despite their predisposition for short-sighted violence. Mechboys are clever and fiendishly inventive driven ever onwards by their own instinct to endlessly tinker with any and all machines in their general vicinity. Given how dangerous some of these items can be, mechboys and their insane inventions can cause considerable damage to anyone unfortunate enough to be nearby. Mechboys tend to be extremely focused on modifying the machines around them, even once combat breaks out around them. This distraction can make it easier for Imperial forces to gain the initiative during battle with them. Mechboys often lead from the middle of the pack, surrounded by warriors, strange machines, and various grot assistants. As such, any boys in a formation led by a mechboy are likely to have customized weaponry. If directly threatened, mechboys often defend themselves with powerful melee attacks. Occasionally, they may equip bizarre and horrifying ranged weapons, such as the fabled shock attack gun, and can wreak havoc upon anyone unfortunate enough to be in their line of sight. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about Orc Mechboys for today. Did you find these guys interesting? Would you like to be one if you were an Orc? Let me know in the comments below. Was this video enjoyable or informative? In that case, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing for future content. I thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all a great day. The Emperor Protects